Now we're back here on uh, Smells Like 90s Rock. And uh, now you don't have to tell where you uh, where this was or who it was you were talking to. But, uh, again, give me that uh, le- life lesson about when you ask somebody if they've done drugs, they tell you a little bit about themselves. Yes. Yeah. They do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't really want to be too specific. Don't get sp- 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 I can't talk. Specific. Just go and just say you were with a group of people and you started asking certain people if they'd ever done drugs, if they've yeah. ever done crack. Yeah, as pre- specifically, no, not, crack. not even crack. I thought you specifically said it was crack. No, not crack. Okay. But just just drugs. Done some kind of drug. Mm-hmm. Most of them would give this little mischievous grin. So <laughs> yeah, uh, even grandma was kicking it apparently. This a little bit. Oh, come on, she done more than that. Done more than a little, little, little bit. That's for sure. She's been she's she's been having the fun for a long time. She can't fool nobody. What are you gonna do? Uh, well, I, I don't know, but I yeah, I probably shouldn't admit so much of this on the air. But uh, but it is very entertaining. I will say that. It is entertaining. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> let's see what else is what what else is going on? We we had there's so little to talk about anymore. Seems yeah, like. Lord. Yeah. What happened between this week and last week? Uh, nothing. Not for this show. I mean, we don't, this is, you know, what can we really talk about on this show? I, I watched the Kurt Cobain documentary. Oh, did you do that? Okay, well. I've got to say, I think I'm old because at about an hour into it, I just realized I didn't care. Oh, well, that's that's yeah, that nice. Was that was really strange. <clears throat> I'm a Nirvana fan and a Kurt Cobain fan. Right. But I've also read read quite a bit about him, so... So you're the things I've heard, I've heard them before. You're essentially over it at this point. Is that what you're saying? You're just like, yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that that's people, this Kurt Cobain phase seems to follow them into their forties. That I've noticed. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, some some people want you know love bands, you know, till Forever. till the day they die. Yeah. I mean, that's 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 really nothing new. I still love Nirvana. I just don't really understand this this <laughs> this obsession with them. They were a great band, you know, and so, you know, people felt the need to... It's a cult of personality, Todd. It doesn't matter, you know? I mean, it, uh, there's... A... There's probably blasphemy on a show like Smells Like 90s Rock. Well, I mean, I mean, there, there, there's... Yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous to worship any human being. I mean, it is. But that being said, there's nothing wrong with being a lifetime fan of something or of someone. So, you know... But no, yeah, if you revolve, I, I, I do. It's something has to be said for people who revolve their lives completely around something like that. You know, like I'm sorry, the Star Wars, Star Trek people. You know, who does, yeah. who do that? Like you know, and follow that religiously. You, need to, you, need to you do. I mean, because it is just a show and it is just a movie. I mean, that that that, that does have to be said uh, for those for those the movies. They are. They are. N- nothing, nothing, uh, you know, yeah, exactly. Nothing wrong with enjoying them. But, yeah, you've got to you got to pace yourself a little bit because... Uh, we might lose some followers over this, Todd. I, I, I highly doubt it because uh, we don't have hardly any followers anyway. So I, I, I feel like we're... I f- I feel like we're solid in the position that we're, we're okay in, in this. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, no, that's a good point. Yeah, you know, people, there is no reason... They don't worship human beings or, or movies or anything like that because it's it's very unnecessary and yeah exactly it, it it causes problems in your own life to do something like that yes i uh, actually know a full of this was from back in my hometown one of my neighbors had an autographed uh braveheart poster <laughs> in his home well that's not again, again that's not that's not bad i don't feel like but now if he revolved his life cur- completely around that particular movie or mel gibson i think i don't know i think that's a little out there. Yeah. There was. I've got an. I've, if I had to guess, he probably felt a certain religious exaltation after watching the three hours that is pretty hard. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I can. Yeah, I can see that. But uh, but again, I, I I just I don't know. I, I don't I don't feel like that 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 uh, an autograph poster constitutes, you know. I'm obsessed. I don't know. I don't know. There might have been candles in front of it. I'm not sure. Mm, and underwear and wine and candies and cheese. Mel Gibson's filmography. Mm-hmm. And some and what else is Mel? Uh, the, all the Lethal Weapon movies, probably. Mm-hmm. Probably there too. In your 
in your favorite category or his favorite category? No, if I'm just describing. I know this guy had an autographed Braveheart poster in his home. Okay. I'm wondering if, <laughs> if it was kind of enshrined in a certain area of his home with candles. So you never saw it. You never, never saw, it. saw it. No. You you just you just you're saying that it the exists. Person who, the person who told me about it was like, yeah, dude, he's like got a problem. <laughs> okay, well then that that they may have confirmed it right there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that may have confirmed it right there. Which that's a that's a weird thing to. Oh wait, we getting another call. The listener has called. I oh, I hope it is too, and I, I hope he has a request. What's going on? What's the dealio? That was probably the best call I've ever heard. Really? Yeah, he said they're just sitting around their fire and listening to our radio show, and they don't even want to go to bed because of our music choice. People, that's what we like to hear.